how to create a chart in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this Excel tutorial for beginners, I will show you how you can easily create a chart in Excel. I have talked about charts in my previous tutorials. I have created a tutorial on how to create a spark line. I have also created a tutorial on how you can use the donut chart. You can check them from this link and in this tutorial I'm going to show you the basic way of using charts in Microsoft Excel. We are going to start with the recommended chart feature then we are going to talk about how you can change the chart type, how you can change the chart formatting, how you can change the design of your chart or how you can change your chart to a combo chart. I'm going to talk about how you can change the default chart type in Excel. Let's get started. <laughs> We have sales data here and imaginary data set. We have months, we have revenue and we have the sales forecast. And we are going to create a chart with this data set. Okay, so you need to click on any cell on your data set. You don't need to select this. Just click on any cell and press Alter F1. Now this is the default chart. Okay, another way to access this is to click on insert and then click on recommended chart okay here we have our recommended chart feature okay now these are the most used chart option that i have previously used if i click okay this is the chart okay now our chart is ready now let's learn how you can change it okay now first thing we need to change is the chart title if i click here you can see this element is selected if i double click here will get editing option here I can remove this and I can manually write here now this is a static name I will have to change the name every time by clicking here or we can make it a dynamic name if I select this and write equal to and then you can see in the formula bar we have our equal if I select any cell and press enter the name is gone but if I write here anything and press enter and that will be our chart name so we just made our chart name dynamic anything we write in cell will be our chart name now let's click on the chart area total chart area if I click here in this empty spot this will be our total chart area and everything is selected now you can see once I have selected the chart we have a new tab here chart tools and here we have chart design if I click here we have a lot of chart design if we hover any of it you can see the changes are visible okay now you can change your chart design from here and there are a lot of design you can choose from okay now let's change the design to this one okay now let's click here on this plus option and there are a lot of things you can do from here okay now here we have access titles if I check mark here you can see we have two new text here access title let's drag the chart and you can see it's visible here if I click here in this access title we can rename it if we want we can hard code it or we can make it dynamic just the way we have done the chart name okay now if I write here equal to and you can see in our formula bar we have our equal to and if I select the cell and press enter and now let's write here amount if I click anywhere in the cell and you can see our title has been changed to amount here we have another title access title and we can do the same thing write equal to and select a cell press enter and then there we are going to write months if I press enter you can see we have changed it okay now we can change the chart style okay so let's say we don't want this chart okay click on the chart click on chart design and here we have changed chart types click on here and now we have all the chart that available in Microsoft Excel and we can change it to any of them if I select bar chart this will be our chart now click here on the combo and I want this chart to be like this okay 
and click ok and you can see our chart has been changed now you can change the chart color manually if i double click on the chart we will have this toolbar open up for us and from here we can design our chart the way we want click on this arrow here fill and we can change the fill color from here we can select pattern fill and you can see it's changing we can select gradient fill and you can see the color gradient here and you can also change the gradient color and there are a lot of option here for you to explore okay now another important part is here picture or texture fill if i click here you can see a new texture has been added here and you can add a picture here if i click on this insert and select a picture that will be placed here okay now you can change the font color option if i select here this part is selected and you can change the text option from here okay you can change the text color and you can do a lot of thing here you can change the text outline and everything will be fine if you click on the chart and you will find this toolbar and you can change everything of this chart from here okay now let's learn how you can change the default chart type which one is the default chart type remember we created our chart by pressing alter f1 and that was the default recommended chart which was the column chart and now we are going to change that default chart now let's change it to our original chart positions okay now let's learn how we can change this default chart type click on chart design and click here change chart type now this one is selected but i want to select the default chart this one i use this chart frequently so i want to make this one the default chart type so right click here and you can see set as default chart click here and click ok now this is our default chart let's remove it remove everything click on any cell within our data set and press auto f1 and you can see our chart has been changed to this one now excel isn't recommending the column chart it's recommending the chart we just selected as a default chart okay so this is how you can use chart in excel this is what i wanted to show you this is a beginner's tutorial and i will talk about a lot about chart in the future and please subscribe for that thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial